Bratzel from New Patient Interaction Automation and GingerBratzel.com, where we help business get more patients, keep more patients, and grow their practices. And I'm on a field trip. I love being on these field trips when I get to bring lessons back that I see on the, the outside world back to you. And if you can notice, I'm by the water and I'm by the ocean. I am on a Disney cruise right now, broadcasting from my um, little balcony from outside my room, and I've been sharing insight of what Disney does right. Now Disney's not perfect, and Disney's not for everybody, and that is really a big lesson to take away from this, because they know their audience and they serve their audience. They do not try to be all things to everybody. They do open things up, they have a lot of diversity in their, their merchandising and their product line and their services, but they are looking for people who are passionate about Disney, and some people can't stand Disney. They're not even trying to address that. They just say, hey, go on, there's someone else to serve you for this. But if you like Disney, we're going to serve you well. And so what their big takeaway I want to share with you today is the ability to increase the revenue per customer transaction. So in dental terms, that would be uh, per patient, you increase the lifetime value of them, and also per transaction. So a patient comes in for X, they come and leave with X, Y, and Z, and they're happy about it. Because all too often, the big lesson that most people miss is that when you try to increase the revenue per transaction, it's got to be in a fun way, it's got to be an entertaining way, it's got to be in a positive way. It's not for you and your business. How can you serve them better? How can you give them more of what they want? When you say, well, I'm a dentist, they don't even want to be here. There's a lot of things that you can do to serve them well. So, you know, I'm on this cruise. Um, we're at sea today, so we're even captive. We can't even go into port. port. So it's all things Disney. We are eating, sleeping, drinking, living, breathing, nothing but Disney. So that's why they make sure when they have their captive audience, they make a lot of opportunities for you to find out about more things Disney. So they have the Disney Vacation Club, which is a timeshare, and most of you probably understand the concept of that. You might even belong to the timeshare. But we're at sea. They're doing a lot of great fun interactive things to get you into the timeshare today. And what they're doing, and they're doing really well, and I see most businesses in this, it's not just in but they are giving you an opportunity to save, to have more fun. I'm in a positive environment. They're hitting me at my peak period where I'm very, very happy. Not when I went home or before I got here. They're trying to up level me or twist my elbow. They're doing it while I'm having fun. They say, hey, well, you don't want this to end. What are you going to do for your next thing? So they're giving huge discounts, a lot of promotional, a lot of perks for me to book my next cruise or Disney vacation timeshare. So maybe next time I don't want to cruise, maybe I want to go to the private resort in Hawaii. Maybe that's for me. Maybe I want to go to one of the theme parks, Disneyland or Disney World. Wonder if I wanted to go to Tokyo Disney. They have all those opportunities here while I'm in the Disney mindset. So when your customers are at their peak of happiness, that's the first thing, that would be peak of happiness. That's when your opportunity. So when someone says something great or are really happy with their smile, what can you do to upsell them? What other opportunities are available? Because we're going to make it convenient and also we can give them the savings by doing it. And that's our excuse. I can do this now because you're already here. We can bundle that in because you've shown interest. These are all called reason why marketing. This is giving them a reason to take the next step. So when you're looking at how to increase the value, of your patients, because you, you're looking to increase your revenues. You want to do more good things for people. You're not going to ever just the money. We understand that. You are a business, you have to be profitable. But what can you do to make it better for your customer? What convenience can you offer them, and what um, price savings if they took action now? I do not have to take a Disney cruise as soon as this boat shop um, docks and goes off. I'm not forced to do it. I have years to take that in advance. I have that in the timeshare years to use that opportunity. So what opportunities can you give them to invest while they're happy? And the big thing I think, I think most people miss, what convenience factors can we put into it and what discounts can we put into it that we can pass along that initiative to them. It gives them a reason to take action now. So that's part of the upsell process and a good upsell uh, sequence. Upsell is not a negative word. It's an opportunity to give more services to people who already want it, the ravenous fans. I'm a Disney fan right now, so they're going to take the opportunity to offer me as much as they can here. And I can take it or not take it. But you've also been presented that opportunity to me. If I don't take it, and I kick myself when I get home in a month and say, you know what, we could have saved big time. When that opportunity comes up again, I'm not going to be an idiot. So sometimes they, they won't immediately take effect. Don't worry about it. You have that opportunity, you planted the seed, and you can keep presenting it in a friendly way. 
but it's got to be convenient for them, it's got to be fun, and I think there's a need to bundle in some discount as a reason why. So since you're here, we can go ahead and offer that to you. So we are always here to help you grow your practice. If you haven't done so, go to our website at gingerbratzel.com and request the free report on how to get and keep all the patients you need in eight easy steps. And it's there, it's your guide, it's available to you. So this is Ginger Brassel signing off from the Disney Dream Cruise. Take care.